In this short video, you will learn about the advanced features of the Library Resource Builder tool in Blackboard. Once you've created a reading list in Blackboard, there are several options to enhance your experience along with your students. On your reading list's main page, click on the See Current Reading List link at the top of the page. You will see the selected items as you scroll down. Each item has an optional notes field where you can add notes to your students about the content. There is also a sort order section in the upper left of each item, allowing you to change the order of the list as you see fit. You can type in numbers for the order in the sort order box, or click and drag each item using the up and down arrow icon in the upper left corner. Otherwise, the readings are listed alphabetically. Above your selections are the following options. Search Library Resources will take you back to the search page where you can conduct another search for the same list. To create a new list, you must go back to the main page of your course and select Library Resource Builder again. Import from existing list will take you to all the lists that you have previously created that are private, as well as any lists that you or someone else might have created that are public. This allows you to copy reading lists from one course to another, from one semester to another. The default setting for lists is private. That means only you can see them and reuse them. Clicking on private will toggle the setting to public, which means anyone using Library Resource Builder at SHU will be able to see your list and use it in their own courses. In order to share your lists with colleagues, you must set your reading list to public. Existing lists are named according to the semester and course number. Add folder will create a folder that you can then drop readings into from your list. You can organize your reading list by weeks or by subject area using the folder option. Add text or instructions will allow you to add comments to the list generally and can be useful when referencing readings that are not electronically available, like a physical textbook or course reader. Add web resource allows you to add a URL for an online reading that is not available through the databases, like a blog or other website. The Library Resource Builder tool allows you to easily select appropriate readings for your courses while providing similarly easy access to those readings for your students. For further assistance with Library Resource Builder or any other questions, feel free to contact us at the library.